So today it is about the uh, assessment of personality. Actually, I had given you an introduction regarding the assessment, various techniques uh, which we use to assess the uh, personality and all. Uh, but in the last uh, module, I mean, and the block uh, unit, uh, last unit, I think, uh, detailed description regarding or various techniques which we have to use in the assessment of personality is given. So I, I think I have to uh, take it in uh, detail. Okay. Uh, so when we talk about the assessment of personality, uh, so whatever be the assessment, I mean, uh, in the psychological assessment, uh, if we have to study the individual's behavior, then uh, emotion, uh, personality, or whatever be the capability, I mean, at the intellectual level, all those things, we have to adopt certain techniques. So these techniques include mainly the psychological testing. So if we want to suppose, if you want to study the personality of an individual, definitely we have to rely on certain psychological testing. So we know that uh, in psychology, there are different methods to study personality. So uh, that, uh, that uh, if we want to study about the personality, that means we are doing certain assessment in this particular field. So what is psychological assessment? Hmm? Suppose a personality, a lingual emotion, where anything like capabilities are um, What I mentioned is that we have to depend on certain psychological techniques are uh, psychological techniques you say that we call as the assessment psychological assessment in the body mm? in psychology there are different methods to study personality and we are using these tests to study the personality upper e personality study chain again various tests in the depend on them assessment in the right so what is called the assessment so psychological assessment it is a process of testing we test conduct a personality a particular aspect we have to um, <clears throat> do certain assessment or it we can say that it is a process of testing but psychological assessment in the morning it is a process of testing and through this process we are uh, introducing or we are administering some test that means the clinician is able to arrive at a conclusion regarding the individual's personality by doing certain tests. One slide. Upon uh, uh, personality and the particular aspect of the test through test uh, our testing and we say is that it is the uh, assessment. Uh, so assessment simply means it is the psychological testing. And in psychology, the clinicians uh, want to uh, we know that they usually want to measure the emotions, personality, intelligence, then career interest, attitude memory these are the, oh, for all these things but i'm like career interest it has this particular test and the career interest in the arena we have to dip as a clinician or as a psychologist we can use a, a particular test based on that career interest okay then if we want to study the memory again there are specific tests for memory so we have to depend on that particular test particular test we have to depend on so we can say that we are making some assessment on that particular test so assessment means it is a psychological Testing. Apa, psychology, psychology related identity test. We can say that we are making some assessment in that particular area. Hmm? Then, <clears throat> so uh, before uh, going uh, to this assessment uh, techniques, um, I would like to uh, give you a small introduction regarding the research. What is research? What do you mean by research? That is also there in your syllabus. Research means uh, it is a systematic investigation. If you want to uh, uh, study or uh, if you want to do some research in a particular area, we have to go through systematic investigation. We are doing some investigation. And the important thing is that it has to go in this. We have to do that particular investigation in a systematic way. So uh, we can say that research means it is the detailed study of a subject.
ഒരു പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഒരു സബ്ജെക്ട് ഇപ്പൊ സപ്പോസ് വി ആർ സ്റ്റഡിയിങ് ദ പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി വി ആർ സ്റ്റഡിയിങ് ദ personality that particular aspect in a detailed way why we are doing it in a detailed way because uh, we have to find out uh, the new information to get the new information we are studying a particular aspect in a detailed way so we can say that the research helps to get answer to things that are unknown we are not aware of the uh, of a particular thing and we are trying to find out new facts or we want to uh, find out the new information regarding that particular area for that we are doing research so research helps to get answers to things that are unknown appo namaku ariyillatha oru karyathine kurichittu namaku information kittan venditana nammal eppozhum research cheynathu and the etto main ath important aayittulla karyam nu vechiya systematic aayittu it is a systematic investigation so we can say that the research means it is a systematic investigation and when we talk about the research um, it is a defi- it is a defined as the careful consideration of study uh, that uh, this uh, definition if you want you can write down research is defined because there is it is not included in the slide research is defined are you writing yes ma'am okay research it is yes, first ma'am. first point is that research it is a systematic investigation that term systematic that is very important because when we do the research we have to go in an orderly manner Hmm? that is very important so the definition you can write down research is defined research is defined as a as a careful consideration as a careful consideration of study of study regarding regarding a particular concern regarding a particular concern or a problem or a problem using a using a <coughs> scientific method <coughs> using a scientific method here the scientific method that is also very important because we consider psych- psychology it is considered as a science subject and every time when we if you want to uh, do any research we have to depend on scientific method so scientific um, method that is very important then uh, so that is research so in short research means it is a systematic investigation then what is a research design the next heading please write down research design what is research design hmm endana research design nu parayanadu ipa suppose namaku oru veedu paniyanundengil nammal endha cheyya first sthalo okka vaangi aa veedu panine kaalum munne cheyina first thing endana we we'll draw a plan yeah. for it. We have to plot a plan for it similarly when we do the research also we have to make an outline or we have to do a framework regarding how we are going to conduct the research so that we call as the research design means uh, we have to uh, um, um, find out certain strategies or uh, we ha- we should know that what all methods we have to adopt while conducting the research so that process we call as the research design so when we conduct a research the research design that is very important so uh, write down research design refers research design refers to research design refers to overall strategy to overall strategy or method or method or procedure or procedure which we use which we use while which we use while conducting a research which we use while conducting a research 
so research design means it is a it is an outline for hmm? research conduct a uh, framework uh, we can say that it is an outline how we are planning to conduct the research that process or uh, what is the what are procedures we are using to conduct uh, this research that we call as the research design so the research design uh, that is very important that is very important uh, while conducting the research then there are different types of research descriptive research correlation method then experimental uh, method different types of research designs are the in psychology we, uh, we usually use uh, the experimental method and this it is considered as the most reliable method hmm? because it has its own valid validity as well as uh, reliability will be the when we conduct the uh, conduct the ex uh, conduct the, or when we adopt the experimental method hmm? uh, so that i am not going in detail then the next uh, thing is uh, suppose if you're doing a research uh, definitely we have to follow certain methods mm? because uh, I mentioned that uh, research means it is a systematic investigation so when we are conducting the research uh, we have to follow certain um, uh, certain methods uh, methods in the sense certain steps we have to follow so what will be the first step Suppose, uh, just imagine that you are planning to conduct a research on a particular area, suppose uh, uh, regarding the personality. Mm? Uh, so, what will be the first step? Identify the Selection of sample. Yes, very good. That defining is the first the is defining or identifying the problem. So, first uh, first step is defining or identifying the problem. Problem no desh ke na the a the area larna naamala research conducti yam pona tha. Adine kuchite naamka first to do dharane direction. That is the first step. Then uh, after that uh, you have to. Uh, develop a research plan research design and then it is the procedure we research design means it is the overall strategy or the uh, procedure which we use uh, while conducting a research so the second step is to we have to uh, formulate a research design how we are planning to conduct the research research design note in the what are the things which we have to uh, consider while uh, developing a research plan? Method of research to be used. Uh, in which area? It's not clear. Uh, in which area you are planning to conduct the research? That means uh, a sample or uh, sample in the arena. At the same time, a sample in the arena, what you are going to measure or what you are what you want to find out that is very important uh, then how many samples etra sample ningale ningalku sample de kayina data collect cheyana then mode of data collection all those things you have to um, uh, note or you have to be very clear when you do the research uh, research that process we call as the research design but research design how we are going to conduct the research sample then sample size how the what is the mode of uh, uh, data collection which questioner you have to use and finally uh, after getting all the result how you are going to uh, analyze the result all those things you have to uh, note down when you do the Research design. Apa research design le e carding alarm So that the second step that is over. So first step is identify and define the problem. Then second step is develop a research plan. And the third step is that is usually collection of data or data collection. That is the very important step. Apa namala research design le tanda namala evident on the data collected under the either type of sample in on etra other oro in oro type lip male, female, or male etra collected them, female etra collected them. Research design. We know it how to collect all these things. After that, we are going to collect the data. And once the data collection is over, what is what will be the next step? Hmm? Data analysis is yes. very good. That is data analysis. So once the collection of data is over, the next step is the data analysis. So our Kittia data, we have to analyze it. Then only we will be able to come to a conclusion. So once the uh, data analysis is over, that means you got the result. You have the result with you. Mm? If, uh, it, if um, a male, female, and then uh, depression, for example, depression, uh, how many uh, of the, from the 
particular sample how many are affected by depression you got the result so the result is uh, with uh, is there with you so once the result is there the next step is to interpret the research find uh, research findings that means the interpretation that is a very important thing in uh, uh, in the research met in the in the research so uh, in, uh, we have to interpret the research findings that is the next step and the last step is that we are coming to a conclusion we have to conclude what all things we have we have found out from that from your research and after that you have to take some action if a or a group of people they are found to be depressed after hmm. which you are not supposed to stop the research you have to intervene you have to uh, do some uh, action or you have to take action and finally nammal ipo a particular group in depressed aanu kandu kanyi kanyal avarku nammal endengil or intervention kodukanam alle inna mathram aanu adu nammalde research successful aavullu so we are not supposed to stop uh, after uh, the after coming to the step that is interpretation and research findings and so just stop him but we have to take some action sometimes we have to use uh, certain psychotherapeutic techniques some uh, we have to do give some intervention techniques counseling is needed angana pala techniques under that we have to do then only the research will be over so when we talk about the research steps first is identify and define the problem then uh, second is to develop a research plan third is collection data collection or collect the data then next is a data analysis then uh, next after that uh, interpretation interpret the research findings and finally you have to take action so this is a scientific approach and uh, usually this method is used in uh, almost all the science subject in either science subject to okay kanyale we are going through these Uh, through these steps okay uh, so we in psychology also we uh, use this type of uh, this method or we can say that these are the research steps which we use then <clears throat> when we talk about the assessment personality assessment um, there are uh, suppose if you if you want to uh, assess the personality mm, um then uh, what all techniques you can adopt ഏതൊക്കെ ടെക്നിക്സ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അഡോപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും പ്രൊജക്റ്റീവ് ടെക്നിക്സ് യെസ് ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി പ്രൊജക്റ്റീവ് ടെക്നിക്സ് യു ക്യാൻ അഡോപ്റ്റ് ദെൻ പ്രൊജക്റ്റീവ് ടെക്നിക് ഇസ് ദ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ മെത്തേഡ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ യെസ് ഒബ്സർവേഷൻ ഒബ്സർവേഷൻ ദെൻ ക്വസ്റ്റ്നർ മെത്തേഡ് സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദ ടെക്നിക്സ് വിച്ച് യു ക്യാൻ അഡോപ്റ്റ് അപ്പൊ ഇത് ഞാൻ ജസ്റ്റ് ഒന്ന് ക്ലാസ്സിൽ ഒന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു പെട്ടെന്ന് ഒന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു പോയിരുന്നു എന്നാണ് എന്റെ ഓർമ്മ അപ്പൊ ലാസ്റ്റ് ഇതിനകത്ത് നോക്കുമ്പോൾ അസസ്മെന്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് ആയിട്ട് കിടക്കുന്നുണ്ട് അത് കാരണമാണ് കുറച്ചുകൂടി ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് ആയിട്ട് ഞാനിത് എടുക്കാന്ന് വെച്ചത് ഓക്കെ സോ ദർ ആർ ഡിഫറെന്റ് ടെക്നിക്സ് യു ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ടു അസസ് ദ പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ക്വസ്റ്റിന് ദെൻ സെക്കൻഡ് ഇസ് സെൽഫ് റിപ്പോർട്ട് മെത്തേഡ് Uh, that is also there in your syllabus then uh, interview method uh, then interview method then observational method uh, then case study that is uh, case study is very important case study method uh, after that uh, experimental or uh, scientific method these are the main techniques which we uh, use then correlation method is there okay so itre okay ana main aitullad so first we will uh, deal with uh, questioner mother so what do you mean by a questioner questioner means that we consider the questioner as a research instrument it is a research instrument so questioner we know that it consists of a series of questions or hmm? questions in the or series will be the and what is the main purpose of putting these series of questions in a paper on a paper to gather information from response so main uh, main uh, purpose is to gather information from respondents then uh, usually the questions we know that it will be in a uh, printed form and uh, also along with the questions some uh, choice of answers will be the അങ്ങനെ അല്ലേ സാധാരണ ഒരു ക്വസ്റ്റിനർ നിങ്ങൾ എപ്പോഴും നമ്മളൊക്കെ എപ്പോഴും ആൻസർ ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് അല്ലെ ഓരോരുത്തരും ഓരോ സ്റ്റഡിക്ക് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് കൊണ്ടുവന്ന് ദൂസ് ടു കളക്
um, or try to gather the information from us so that they are giving a questioner and we know that the questioner consists of a series of questions many questions will be there and each question we call as the item item nana or statement usually in psychology we use the term item and uh, uh, they uh, they are distributing this questioner to gather information from us and um, and usually uh, what is our task our task is to uh, just uh, answer or the as i mentioned the some choice of answers will be there we have to put a uh, take mark or we have to mark according to our choice so that is the our task so usually these type of questioners it is uh, usually used for statistical study or uh, when we conduct some survey method also we use this questioner so in short uh, research means sorry questioner means it is a research instrument and the main purpose is to gather information from the respondent and uh, who invented the questioner any idea the questioner it was invented by the statistical society of london statistical society of london in 1838 and uh, the uh, usually what happens is that the respondent uh, they will give the response in the written format appo ipulu avaru mark cheyana cheyina appo nammal eduthu or questioner kittu kenja nammal endha cheynadu according to our choice uh, we will mark appo so that we can say that the respondent will give the response in the written format then um, but uh, nowadays you know uh, especially during during this pandemic condition uh, it can be carried out uh, through telephone also or through uh, computer or uh, i mean through mail or even by post also we can uh, use this uh, questioner and we consider it as a written interview അല്ലെ സാധാരണ ഇപ്പൊ നമ്മള് ഒരു കാര്യം അതിനകത്ത് ചോദിക്കുന്നു അതിന് നമ്മൾ വി ആർ റെസ്പോണ്ടിങ് സോ വി ക്യാൻ കൺസിഡർ ഇറ്റ് ആസ് എ റിട്ടേൺ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ആൻഡ് ഇൻ സൈക്കോളജി വെൻ വി ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റിനർ ഇൻ ദ കോണ്ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് സൈക്കോളജി വി യൂസ് ക്വസ്റ്റിനേഴ്സ് ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് കൺസിഡേർഡ് ആസ് എൻ ഇഫക്റ്റീവ് മീൻസ് ടു മെഷർ വേരിയസ് ആസ്പെക്ട്സ് ലൈക്ക് ബിഹേവിയർ ദെൻ ആറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി ഒപ്പീനിയൻ Uh, then what is mood etc ee ingente ee aspects okka measure cheyanengile etto it is this questioner it is considered as the effective means uh, so in a questioner uh, uh, questions will be the only task is to uh, the respondent has to answer the question depending avarku or choice undagum choices will be the there avarida endana avarida opinion endha nichunya they have to mark we, and we consider it as an effective means to measure various aspects related to psychology and uh, usually in a questioner the questions may be either open ended or closed ended questions open ended aayirikka closed ended aayirikka so what is open ended question what do you mean by open ended question answer can be descriptive yes answer can be descriptive that means the subject is free to write answers or they can make uh, they can note the response in a way they think or in their own words they can write their answers it will be descriptive appo uh, open ended questions as well as um, closed ended questions will be there so in open and open ended questions it uh, answers will be descriptive but in the uh, case of other that is closed end closed end questions or um, closed ended questions or closed questions the subject is able to mask the res- mark the response only in the specific column ഒരു കോളം കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ടായിരിക്കും അതിനകത്ത് സംടൈംസ് ഇറ്റ് മൈറ്റ് ബി യേസ് സംടൈംസ് നോ ആയിരിക്കും സംടൈംസ് ഏസ് ഓർ നോ ഓർ സംടൈംസ് സപ്പോസ് ഇഫ് ദ റെസ്പോണ്ട് റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ദ ലൊക്കാലിറ്റി വെദർ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് മെൻഷൻ ഡസ് സംടൈംസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് മെൻഷൻ ഡസ് അർബൻ ഓർ റൂറൽ സോ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് സോ ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് കൺസ് വി കൺസിഡർ ഇറ്റ് ആസ് എ ക്ലോസ് ഇൻ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ ദ സബ്ജെക്ട് ദേ ഷുഡ് മാർക്ക് ദ റെസ്പോൺസ് ഓൺലി ഇൻ ദ സ്പെസിഫിക് കോളം സോ ദാറ്റ് വി ദാറ്റ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് വി കോൾ ആസ് ക്ലോസ്ഡ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നമ്മുടെ വേറെ ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ഒന്നുമില്ല ദേ ഹാവ് ടു മാർക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ സ്പെസിഫിക് കോളം സോ മോസ്റ്റ്ലി യൂഷ്വലി in most of the questioner um, 
the options uh, only two options will be the Sadarna questioners le la thelin two options are ki yes or no, allagi male or female, then urban or rural. Angan to korchchi karyengal ke eri ko ondaal na thapa. Usually we can say that it is dichotomous. That means two only two options are the. Then uh, uh, so this is uh, uh, this is the, uh, mainly about the questioner. Then what are the advantages of a questioner? Data can be directly collected from the sample. Yes, very good. The data can be directly connect, uh, collected from the sample. That means it is, uh, we can say that it is relatively cheap. We can collect it. So we can say that it is relatively cheap and at the same time economical also. And uh, other important thing is that uh, it is uh, useful in gathering information quickly from a large number of people. That is the most important thing. But if you have a group, you can assess personality assessment. I can uh, distribute the questioner, and after a um, few minutes, you, I will get the data from you because you are marking on, the, on that piece of paper and you are giving it. So it is relatively cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, time con uh, it is not time consuming it is economical and uh, I can gather the information um, very quickly from a large number of people so that are the main advantages of a questioner then what are the disadvantages of a questioner hmm? usually in Palapurum Namalda Joli Selta Island Namaka Palapurum Pala questioners and guitar on the Palada research research in a base but usually what will we do namal sadharana kittuna samayathu ee questioner la engenaanu namal pettanu mark kiya hmm namukku pore vera oru joli de idayil oru questioner kitti namal will, will we be honest in mar, in our marking hmm there is a chance of manipulation. Ah, yes. There is a ch chance of manipulation or uh, manipulation. Um, not only the manipulation or bias will be the more than that. The respondents' uh, honesty in answering that is doubtful. I mean, chala po putri or hundred questions on that on that. Korchhe bithi namlal varude engu ticket boi idine gilo ka. Usually this happens. I know that uh, in most of the cases, uh, it is very common that the respondents uh, respondents simply put a mark. Mm -hmm. uh, even even without reading the particular question, they simply put the mark. So we can say that the respondent's honesty in answering that is doubtful. And uh, usually when we fill up a questioner, we often try to project our positive image of ourselves. For a particular question, we always try to project the positive image mm, of ourselves. That is, we, we always have a tendency to lie. We try to uh, project the positive aspect. That is very important thing. So, um, and that is, uh, these are the main disadvantages of a questioner. So, okay, so when we talk about the questioner, uh, first is the honesty. The respondent's honesty in answering, that is uh, doubtful. And uh, the next thing is that usually when we fill up a questioner, we often try to project the positive image of ourselves. That, that means we have a tendency to lie. So these are the main uh, disadvantages of the questioner. But uh, overall, we can say that the uh, questioner has uh, um, so many advantages. Um, then um, uh, advantages of three. And, uh, usually in psychology, we usually depend on questioner for assessment. Or we consider the uh, questioner as a research instrument. So, hope it is clear. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma so, next is the self report or self report technique. What is self report technique? Again, we can say that it is again a tool to gather uh, information. So, self report means a questioner is an example for self report. Hmm. So we are reporting about ourselves. So we can say that a questioner can be an example for self-report. Um, uh, in uh, psychology, it is a report uh, 
when we talk about the self report we say that uh, it is a report by the individual that is our own report regarding our own behavior our own attitude sometimes uh, uh, about our own symptoms uh, our own beliefs uh, then our own values our own interest idinokka aspect either idhi aspects nokka base idu we are giving a report ipo naan ende edutha ore clinician vannitte chodikkana ipo suppose if i am having some symptoms of anxiety or the clinician um, may come to a conclusion that the that i am suffering from the uh, 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 suffering from anxiety so if he want to find out from my side then what he asked me to give a self report so here i am giving a, a report a my own report regarding my own behavior regarding my own attitudes uh, regarding my own symptoms fear our beliefs our values idin ellathinum kurichittu njan oru report kodukkuvana cheynathu so we can say that it is a self report uh, and uh, here also some in most of the cases uh, just like the questioner the subject fills out the questioner uh, with or uh, sometimes the he the the subject fills the questioner with the help of a clinician sometimes uh, he may fill the questioner without the help of the clinician appa ee rendu reethiyil nadakkam quiz chalappa clinician de help undayirikkan chalappa clinician de help illatha thanne he is uh, giving the report so the respondent read the question and select the response just like as we do in the questioner method uh, here also in the self report also the respondent read the question and select the response so self uh, report techniques it include uh, um, various techniques like a uh, questioner method then interview or sometimes the subject is asked to write the diaries diary the elder that is also a self report technique uh, and uh, usually in most of the self report technique uh, preset questions will be the and the task of the subject is to simply to respond usually ellathilum oru preset aayittulla oru questions undayirikkam ennittu avarude ezhudan parayana cheyane idunnallade oru open aayittulla idanu undengil it can be it, uh, even uh, writing the diaries is an example for self report technique appo um, uh, if somebody ask you to give an example for the self report question then epa what is epa epi i am already i taught you in the last uh, few classes epi yes sir i uh, sang personality inventory that is a uh, self report uh, question appa i sang personality inventory la allegal 16 pf or kondo do you remember the 16 pf hmm yes ma'am yes ma'am 16 personality factors apa 16 personality factors also it is a questioner certain questions will be there and your task is to respond uh, to mark your respond uh, response so uh, we can say that the epa or 16 pf then mmpa is the that is minnesota multifacetic personality inventory uh, then other include mayer briggs uh, type indicators pinne angane kore questions njan a personality id padichuva padichilla adakka all these come uh, can be considered as a self report question appa adana self report nanna so hope it is clear self report so self report um, it is uh, self or we can say that the self report techniques include questions interviews uh, writing even diaries writing diaries all those uh, our example for the self report self report okay okay yes, ma'am okay. okay the next is the about the interview that is uh, this is very important <coughs> uh what is interview 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 means it is a, we can say that uh, when we talk about the the job in the interview alla alada when we talk about uh, in the context of psychology uh, it is interview can be considered as a conversation between one or two or more than two people nammala angotu ingotu ulla or conversation aanu so here the, the main thing is that the interview is conducted with a specific purpose we are conducting the psychological interview with a specific purpose so in psychology the clinician uses the interview method 
to gain information about the client. If suppose I am the counselor or I am the clinician, I am uh, using this particular method, interview method, uh, to collect information about my client. Any kind of client don't. If suppose the client is having uh, some um, disorder, personality disorder, and that. But I want to before coming to the conclusion that my client is having the personality disorder, I have to conduct an interview. So here in the interview, what I am doing, I am asking so many questions. Uh, sometimes the questions uh, will be direct questions, sometimes indirect questions. And I am uh, through this method, I am uh, trying to gain information about my client. And finally, I come to a conclusion that my uh, client is having so and so disorder. So uh, that is the interview method. So the interview is conducted in an efficient manner. We have to do it in an efficient manner and also in an orderly manner or in a streamlined manner. We have to conduct the interview. So in short, we can say that it is a face to face interaction with the uh, client. And here the interviewer, that means the clinician asks some questions and sometimes um, the clinician asks them to elaborate or describe the particular event. If a particular event, uh, the uh, client feels it as a, stressful, as a stressful event, then the interviewer to gain the information, uh, the uh, <clears throat> informant asks them to elaborate or describe the particular event. So we can say that interview, it is a two-way uh, interaction or a two-way uh, con 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 conversation. Uh, that is, it is a two-way conversation uh, and it has to be conducted in a systematic way. That means systematic conversation between the uh, clinician and the informant and with a specific purpose about where the clinician will have a specific purpose and for this specific purpose uh, the specific what, what, what will be the specific purpose and there is a specific purpose or another to come to a conclusion regarding the client's problem sometimes it may be a diagnosis but for this the clinician is using the interview method so it is a systematic conversation between the investigator and an informant. And the clinician is using this uh, particular or uh, systematic conversation for a specific purpose. So, the, so this is very important. Then uh, when while conducting the interview, the first task is to establish the rapport with the informant. Hmm. So I have to open up. Mm. Uh, before, if I want, if I feel, uh, if I if I want to open up my problems, I have to feel comfortable with the clinician. So initially, the first task is to establish a rap rapport with the informant. That means then only once the rapport is built up, then uh, it is uh, very easy for the clinician to build up trust and confidence in the interview. So the uh, creating the trust as well as confidence in the interview with that is very important. So for the first task of the clinician is to establish a rapport with the uh, respondent or with the client. Then the, in the interview, the interviewer requests the skills to elicit the information from the client also. But at the same time, I have to, I need the skill. Interviewing skill, that is very important. So the interviewer, in the interview, the interviewer requests the skill to elicit the information from the client. In the can, what are his problems? In the, what are the symptoms? Uh, what, are the, what is the underlying cause for this problem? Everything the clinician has to elicit from the from his client. So that is very important. So that is considered as a major skill. That is called the interviewing skill. So in the interview, the interviewer requests the skill to elicit the information from the client. That is very important. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Then uh, when we talk about the interview, uh, different types of interview are the, uh, any idea? It's called the structured interview is the, then unstructured interview, uh, semi-structured. Mainly three types of interview. That is structured interview, 
<coughs> then unstructured interview and semi structured interview these are the three types of interviews <coughs> any what do you mean by structured interview the questions are already pre-arranged. Yes, very good. So structured interview means, uh, again, it is a very detailed interview. And it is uh, conducted in a standardized schedule. We have to say that it, it is conducted in a uh, standardized schedule. That Because in the name itself, it implies a structured interview. So standardized schedule. That means same questions, same order. And in the similar situations, but questions are pretty okay. But the uh, interview, you know, at the interview, you know, where in the our patient to the same questions, I recap, same order, like and in the similar situation. And this type of interview, it is most most mostly used to collect data from a group of people. Hmm? Uh, classroom the classroom extra how many extroverts are there how many introverts are there if the uh, uh, teacher wants to find out and she is uh, giving uh, a questioner based on this particular aspects then uh, it is we can say that it is a structured interview questions questioner at the same time the teacher is conducting some interview so here the questions are asked in a standardized schedule that means same questions are asked the questions are asked in the same order and the situation it is also somewhat similar so this we can say that this type of interview it is more often used to collect data from a group of people and if it is a little group in the collective, if suppose uh, either uh, the job in the aspect in an angular, if we usually use this structured method, uh, then uh, after from that uh, big data short list, we have to short list from the group of people. Uh, then the interviewer here, when uh, the suppose the interviewer is conducting the uh, structured interview, the interviewer creates a set of questions in advance. That is important. And these questions are asked to all the candidates in the same manner and in the same order. So we can say that uh, the structured interview, it is also called the planned interview or patterned interview. But pre-planned the questions order the first respondent it will be asked in the uh, in a particular way, our same order like a particular order like a second uh, and suppose the interview is conducted among 50 people, then what uh, then uh, they will shortlist from a group of people. So interview creates a set of questions in advance and these questions are asked to all the candidates in the same manner and order. So we can say that it is a what is other name planned interview or patterned interview. And uh, the uh, most important thing is that the interviewer will not deviate from the interview schedule um, or try to probe any answers. That is the important thing. But uh, interview structured interview conducted on the our same questions, same uh, same method. I have to follow till the end, last candidate till the last candidate, and uh, in between, uh, I will I never deviate from the interview schedule. Or I never try to probe any answers. answer So this type of method we call as the structured interview. Either type interview we call as the structured interview. So it is also called the planned interview or patterned interview. Is it clear? Yes, it is clear. Then okay. The next is the unstructured interview. Unstructured interview. Ape usually, a structured interview or um, job interview. Alangil, oru namkor villi oru group of candidates onda. Madhi ne shortlist yan vendi te. We usually use this structured interview. Okay. If suppose uh, after the completion of uh, PG, nengali PG ka kai nete you are working in the as an uh, organizational behaviorist. Alangil or organizational behaviorist specialize ido or organization le uh, psychologist type to work ki aru nonda. Ki suppose you will be there in the panel uh, for the um and then um selection of uh, employees. Hmm? Uh, so that time you can use this uh, structured interview. 
Now let us look what is an unstructured interview. So unstructured interview means there will not be any set of questions. It's just the opposite of a structured interview. So here, uh, there will not be any pre-planned questions. So the interviewer asks some open-ended questions based on a particular topic. That is the main uh, criteria. Suppose we have to uh, deal this um, unstructured interview in the clinical context. That means if you have the symptoms, so here the interviewer asks some uh, questions, that is open-ended questions based on this uh, a particular area, particular topic or particular area in the sense, suppose if it is about the anxiety, anxiety in the panic attack on the what are the symptoms or what all difficulties you experience at this time. So it is a, a fully open-ended questions. So that the interviewer, uh, the interview, it goes like like a natural con conversation. This is a interaction, like a natural conversation. If we go to our friends, we can talk to our doctor, we can talk to our doctor. So we can call it as an informal interview also. And uh, the important thing is that there will not be any predetermined order, just like a structured interview. So we can say that uh, the better understanding of the candidate is possible. That is the main advantage of this uh, unstructured interview. But in the clinical aspect, in the clinical situation, in the clinical context, it is better we have to adopt the unstructured interview. Because uh, then only we will be able to get a better understanding of the candidate. And also the client as well as the clinician, it, they will be more flexible as well as more comfortable. But because the interview goes like an informal, uh, in, in, where it is highly informal and so that the better understanding of the candidate, a candidate in the sense that uh, client is possible. And but the what will be the main disadvantage of this unstructured interview? Unstructured interview, the main disadvantage in the What is the main disadvantage? But it is just like an informal talk, or we can call time it as a consuming. yes, that is highly time consuming. Time consuming, three time the mulda pogum. And also, other important thing is that um, as it is uh, highly informal, there are chances to divert from the topic. Hmm? But uh, topic chances are also there. Uh, this, these two things can be considered as the main disadvantage of um, uh, unstructured interview. It is highly time consuming and there are chances to divert from the topic. Then uh, when we talk about the um, interview, generally about the interview, um, confidentiality on the part of the interviewer that is very important but the uh, interview even if it is a counseling uh, in the clinical context the confidentiality on the part of the interviewer that is very 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 important that all all the time you, ha you always you have to keep in your mind that the confidentiality it is your responsibility when you practice as a clinician it is your responsibility to maintain the confidentiality okay then next is the semi structured interview semi structured in the uh, some aspect of the structured interview will be there at the same time some aspect of the uh, unstructured interview will be there Hmm. So most of the questions are prepared, but some questions will be added in between. And it does not strictly follow a formalized list of questions. If you questions, the questions will be asked. But at the same time, and then in the daily chalapa could question to you on the air channel or question would be adding him. But uh, in a semi-structured interview, the clinician uh, never for strictly never strictly follow a um, formalized list of uh, questions. Uh, usually, most of the questions will be open ended. Hmm? We can say that it is a semi structured interview. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. So, these yes, are the different techniques, uh, these are the different methods of interview structured, uh, semi structured, and uh, 
unstructured interview okay the next is the observational um, method hello shall we start okay ma'am yes ma'am okay so uh, next is uh, the observational method observational method uh, so what is actually observation so when you go to a, a doctor or a physician usually uh, when you talk about the your uh, symptoms the person yeah the doctor usually observe means uh, examining something or uh, here when we talk about the observational method in psychology that is uh, we are examining the uh, what it is called uh, overt behavior we are examining the overt behavior means the behavior that can that uh, we can observe so here in observational method it is also again considered as a uh, tool for studying the behavior so here uh, close as well as the detailed observation that is needed അപ്പം നമുക്ക് ഒരു പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ബിഹേവിയർ ഇഫ് യു വോണ്ട് ടു സ്റ്റഡി വി ഹാവ് ടു വി നീഡ് ദ ക്ലോസ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ദ ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് ഒബ്സർവേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ക്ലയൻറ്റ് ഓർ എ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾ സോ ഒബ്സർവേഷൻ മെത്തേഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ കെയർഫുൾ ആൻഡ് ഒബ്ജക്റ്റീവ് ഒബ്സർവേഷൻ ഓഫ് എ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ആസ്പെക്ട് ഓഫ് ഹ്യൂമൻ ബിഹേവിയർ അപ്പോൾ നമുക്കൊരു ഗ്രൂപ്പിൻ്റെ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ബിഹേവിയർ പഠിക്കണമെങ്കിൽ വി ഹാവ് ടു we we have to uh, observe that particular behavior means uh, uh, careful as well as the objective observation of a particular aspect of human behavior is a uh, need uh, so uh, do you remember the social learning theory proposed by whom social learning theory ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞ ആൽബർട്ട് ബണ്ടൂര സോഷ്യൽ ലേണിംഗ് തിയറിയിൽ വി യൂഷ്വലി വി നോ ദാറ്റ് വെൻ വി ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഒബ്സർവേഷണൽ മെത്തേഡ് ഐ ജസ്റ്റ് ഐ എം റിമെമ്പറിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് എസ് അഡോപ്റ്റ് ദിസ് മെത്തേഡ് ഇൻ ആർ എവറി ഡേ ലൈഫ് അല്ലേ ബിക്കോസ് വി ആർ വി ആർ ഒബ്സർവിംഗ് അതേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് സംടൈംസ് കോൺഷ്യസ്ലി ഓർ അൺകോൺഷ്യസ്ലി വി ആർ ഇമിറ്റേറ്റിംഗ് ഓർ മോഡലിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് ബിഹേവിയർ ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ടൈം വി ആർ ഓൾസോ ബീയിങ് ഒബ്സേർവ്ഡ് നമ്മളെയും പലരും ഒബ്സേർവ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് നമ്മളും പലരെയും ഒബ്സേർവ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് നമ്മൾ ഒബ്സേർവ് ചെയ്യണതിൽ സംടൈംസ് നമ്മൾ ആ ഒരു ബിഹേവിയർ വി ആർ ട്രൈങ് ടു ഇമിറ്റേറ്റ് കോൺഷ്യസ്ലി ഓർ അൺകോൺഷ്യസ്ലി ചില ബിഹേവിയർ നമ്മൾ അറിയാതെ തന്നെ നമ്മൾ ഇമിറ്റേറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് പോകാറുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ അതൊന്ന് പതുക്കൊന്ന് നമ്മളൊന്ന് നമ്മളെ തന്നെ ഒന്ന് ഒബ്സേർവ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ വി നോ ദാറ്റ് സോ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ ഒബ്സർവേഷണൽ മെത്തേഡ് ഇപ്പം ഞാൻ എൻ്റെ ഒരു പെർസ്പെക്റ്റീവ് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു എന്നേ ഉള്ളൂ സോഷ്യൽ ലേണിംഗ് തിയറി നമ്മള് ഒത്തിരി ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻഷ്യൽ ആണത് സോ ഇൻ വെൻ വി ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഒബ്സർവേഷൻ മെത്തേഡ് ദ ക്ലിനീഷ്യൻ ഇസ് മെയിൻലി നോട്ടിംഗ് ദ ബിഹേവിയർ ദെൻ ഹി ഇസ് അനലൈസിംഗ് ദ ബിഹേവിയർ ദെൻ ഫൈനലി ഇൻറ്റർപ്രറ്റിംഗ് ദ ബിഹേവിയർ ആൻഡ് ഫൈനലി ജനറലി കമ്മിങ് ടു എ കൺക്ലൂഷൻ അപ്പൊ ഒബ്സർവേഷൻ മെത്തേഡിൽ മെയിൻ ആയിട്ട് വരുന്നത് ദ സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ദ സ്റ്റെപ്സ് മീൻസ് ദ ക്ലിനീഷ്യൻ ഇസ് നോട്ടിംഗ് ദ ബിഹേവിയർ ദ ക്ലിനീഷ്യൻ ഇസ് അനലൈസിംഗ് ദ ബിഹേവിയർ interpreting the behavior and finally he is coming to a conclusion and uh, the observation it is carried out in uh, different situations or the important types of observation include what are the different types of observation method naturalistic and structural yes method. naturalistic observation is there or participant observation is there then non participant observation is the participant observation nor nan thana group la thana oru the clinician is becoming a member of the group and he is observing the behavior non participant nor nan he is not the member of the group but he is uh, standing or uh, 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 he he will be outside the group but he is observing and in controlled observation as well as uncontrolled observation is the controlled and uncontrolled i'll uh, uh, give the details when i come to the next method okay then apa when we talk about the participant observation uh, in this type of observation the observer or the clinician becomes the part of the group uh, which he wants to observe and uh, here the clinician freely mingles with the members of the group uh, but 
the important thing is that the members are not aware that they are being observed by the clinician. Apa idna the main ite varna participant observation le clinician um he will be a member of the group and he is not aware that he is being observed by the clinician. So in such a situation they will not hide the behavior. Or actual behavior, it will not be other uh, because uh, um, he does the members of the group doesn't know that they are being observed. But in the case of non-participant observation, here the observer or the clinician observes the group under study without actually participating in the group activities. So here the observer will observe even minute things. The members of the group are aware that they are being observed. So uh, they may I hide the actual behavior. And uh, uh, the observation is unbiased. Hmm? Uh, then uh, I mentioned about the other uh, participant observation and non-participant observation difference. I hope it is clear. Then coming to the controlled observation. Controlled observation Verna Sametha, the observation is made under controlled conditions. Epidemic controlled conditions were another. Experimental. Yes, experimental laboratory. For example, the observer may make use of experimental laboratory. So that is an example for the controlled observation. Then when we talk about the uncontrolled observation, the here the observation it is controlled in natural setting. Sorry, the, not controlled. The observation is done in natural setting um, as they occur spontaneously. For example, observing the behavior of the children at play is an example for uncontrolled observation. That is for uh, this is... Uh, uh, we can say that it is a naturalistic observation. So there are just like other method also this uh, um, this method that is observational method. It it also has its own merits and demerits. What are the merits? It can be uh, adaptable, uh, or we can uh, use this uh, to both uh, to individual as well as in group situation. That is the main merit of this uh, observational method. But uh, demerits, uh, demerits, when we talk about the demerits, uh, can you highlight a few demerits of this uh, observation? Time consuming, Time consuming uh, is correct, but more than that, bias can be. Yes, occurred. bias as well as prejudice will be the chances of personal prejudice and bias will be the. We all have like, prejudice and bias. That is a natural thing. And uh, when we uh, consider this observational method, the main demerit is the chances of personal prejudice and bias. That is the main important thing. Okay, then shall we move to the next method? Next method, it is uh, case study or the clinical method. I think it is uh, there in, uh, in your assignment case study. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so when we talk about the case study, it is also called the clinical method. And uh, mainly it is used to study the behavior problems. So behavior problems uh, usually case study you say another. Uh, or when we talk about the behavior problems, remember, uh, sometimes it can be some maladjusted behavior or a deviant individual. Usually... Um, Pro behavior problems nor an alinger undesired behavior where in the time like an case study uh, we sh usually we adopt then um, what do you mean by a case so case study so here we are using the term case so what do you mean by a case subject yes subject usually uh, when we deal with the uh, clinical psychology then we use this uh, particular term that is case so in clinical psychology case where uh, alada where the social psychology anganta where nadathu onnu case nu paranja nammal use cheyala ettum kududal common aayittu we use this uh, term case in clinical psychology so in clinical psychology <coughs> the case it is used to indicate an individual who is facing some problem in the problem you face in the 
നമ്മള് കേസ് എന്ന് പറയണ സപ്പോസ് ദ പേഴ്സൺ മൈറ്റ് ഹാവ് ആൻസൈറ്റി ഡിസോർഡർ ആയിരിക്കാം സംടൈംസ് പി ടി എസ് ഡി പോസ്റ്റ് ട്രൊമാറ്റിക് സ്ട്രെസ് ഡിസോർഡർ ആയിരിക്കാം സംടൈംസ് സം പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി ഡിസോർഡർ ആയിരിക്കാം മേ ബി ആൽക്കഹോളിസം കേസ് ഓഫ് ആൽക്കഹോളിസം ഇൻ സച്ച് കേസസ് വി യൂസ് ദ ടേം കേസ് സോ കേസ് മീൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് യൂസ്ഡ് ടു ഇൻഡിക്കേറ്റ് ആൻ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽ ഹു ഈസ് ഫേസിംഗ് സം പ്രോബ്ലം സോ ഓൺലി വിത്ത് ദി ഹെൽപ്പ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി ദ പ്രോബ്ലം ക്യാൻ ബി ഐഡൻറ്റിഫൈഡ് ആൻഡ് ഫൈനലി സോൾഡ് അപ്പോൾ ഒരു കേസ് വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞ് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് ആയിട്ട് ആ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി ഇപ്പൊ വി ആർ ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് ദ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി ഒരു കേസ് വന്നു അപ്പൊ ഒരു കേസിന് ആ ഒരു കേസിനെ വി ഹാവ് ടു സ്റ്റഡി ഇൻ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ then only we will be able to identify what the problem the particular case is facing and finally we have to solve it then we have to identify what the problem the particular case is facing and finally we have to solve it appo oru case nu parna endha nu manasilayallo case nu vachina oru behavior problem ulla raale ana case nu parana endha angane oru problem ulla raale nammalde eduthu vannu kaniya we have to uh, do the in depth study then only we will be able to understand what that particular case is adu endha nu manasilaki kanyalana we will be able to solve it അതാണ് കേസ് കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഇപ്പൊ അർദ്ധ ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് എനി ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് യെസ് മാം ഐ തിങ്ക് ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ അപ്പൊ സപ്പോസ് എ ചൈൽഡ് ഹു ഇസ് സോഷ്യലി മാലഡ്ജസ്റ്റഡ് ഓർ ഇമോഷണലി ഡിസ്റ്റർബ്ഡ് or we can say that he is uh, the particular child is experiencing difficulty in academics hmm appo or class il ningal irikkina samayath or kutti suppose if he is emotionally disturbed irikka allengi he find it very difficult to adjust with the class with other students uh, or uh, he is uh, the particular child is experiencing the difficulty in academics this child we call as a case or a clinical case appo angane oru kutti veruvanannundengi we can call it as a case appo ee kuttide problem endanannu if you want to study how will we study namukku uh, we have to uh, we have to uh, uh, yes detailed yes, case we talk with them uh, we have to talk with them we have to gather information or we not gather it is better to use the word we have to elicit the um, various uh, things from child as well as from the family members mm? then only we will be able to come to a conclusion that the child is facing so and so problem because of this uh, reason some underlying cause will be there so we have to uncover all these things uh? that child we call as the case or the clinical case so uh, clinical uh, study means it is the in depth study of the case and here we are considering all the details appo nammle ee maladjustment allengi emotional disturbance allengi difficulty in academics endu kondana undai the some underlying cause will be the appo the biological airikam chelapa vera environmental problem airikam endanu namukku ariyanam nundagi we have to go in depth appo a in depth study we call it as the clinical study or the case study here we are considering all the details appo so, clinical psychology le ee or case study nu parayanathu valare important aanu edoru patient vannalum nammalde munnil varuna samayathu namukku even jenikkumba thottulla kaaryangal nammala manasilakana that is why it is said that it is the in depth study of a case and uh, the clinical method uh, we uh, as i mentioned we call as the case study or the case history method apo in a case study the clinician is not focusing on a single detail or a single detail ipo endu konda endakana prashnam athre mathra alla nokana alleki ipo njan nerthe parna or case class la or emotionally disturbed aitulla or case vannu appo nammal chodikkana endakana class la disturbance allengil padikkan endakana endakka buddhimuttalana kutti face cheyanadu idu ee or karyam mathra alla nammal nokunnathu we have to gather information about everything that means it should be detailed uh, the information it should be realistic uh, the information it should be reliable and uh, while uh, taking the case history we are observing the behavior of the child hmm? 
at the same time we are interviewing the child we are examining the medical report and sometimes we have to depend on certain psychological tests itrain karyangal okke cheythu kaynale we are uh, we are able to come to a conclusion so we have to gather information from various areas ipo nan paranju ingane oru student nammalde eduthu vannu varana time la one minute ഇങ്ങനെ വരുന്ന സമയത്ത് നമുക്ക് ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ കളക്ട് ചെയ്യണമെങ്കിൽ പേരൻസിന്റെ കയ്യിൽ നിന്ന് ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ കിട്ടണം അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ടൈം ഈ കുട്ടിയുടെ ബിഹേവിയർ ഒബ്സേർവ് ചെയ്യണം ഇപ്പൊ അക്കാഡമിക് ഡിഫിക്കൽറ്റി ഉള്ളൊരു കുട്ടിയാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നമ്മൾ ചെറിയ ചെറിയ ടെസ്റ്റുകൾ ഇട്ട് കൊടുത്ത് റൈറ്റിംഗ് അങ്ങനത്തെ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ ആ ഒരു ഏജ് അപ്രോപ്രിയേറ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഏജിന് പറ്റിയ ലേണിംഗ് ഈ കുട്ടിക്ക് ഉണ്ടായിട്ടുണ്ടോ ഇത് നമ്മൾ ടെസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യണം നമ്മൾ നമ്മൾ വി ഹാവ് ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ദെൻ ചിലപ്പോ ഇന്റലിജൻസിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഇഷ്യൂ ഉണ്ടെന്ന് തോന്നിക്കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ വി ഹാവ് ടു കണ്ടക്ട് ദ ഇന്റലിജൻസ് ടെസ്റ്റ് ദിനുള്ളി വി വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു കം ടു എ ഫൈനൽ കൺക്ലൂഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ദ ചൈൽഡ് ഇസ് ഹാവിങ് സം ഇന്റലക്ച്വൽ പ്രോബ്ലം പിന്നെ ഇമോഷണൽ ഡിസ്റ്റർബൻസ് ഉണ്ടാകാൻ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഈവൻ ഇന്റലക്ച്വൽ ഡിസ്റ്റർബൻസ് അത് ജനിക്കുന്ന സമയത്ത് ബർത്ത് ടൈമിൽ ഉണ്ടായ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ടി കൊണ്ടാണ് ഇതൊക്കെ നമുക്ക് ഡിസ്റ്റർ നമുക്ക് ഡീറ്റെയിൽ ആയിട്ട് കളക്ട് ചെയ്യണം സോ വി ഹാവ് ടു കളക്ട് ദ ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ഇൻ എ ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് മാനർ ആൻഡ് ആസ് ഐ മെൻഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി ഇൻ എ റിയലിസ്റ്റിക് വേ റിയലിസ്റ്റിക് ആയിരിക്കണം റിലയബിൾ ആയിരിക്കണം ഈ ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ നമ്മൾ കളക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന എല്ലാം റിലയബിൾ ആയിരിക്കണം അപ്പൊ കെ സ്റ്റഡി എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോഴത്തേക്കും വി ആർ ഗ്യാദറിംഗ് ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ഫ്രം വേരിയസ് ഏരിയാസ് ആൻഡ് ഫൈനലി ആസ് എ ക്ലിനീഷ്യൻ ദീസ് ഇൻഫർമേഷൻസ് ആർ പൂൾ ടുഗെദർ ഇൻ എ സീക്വൻഷ്യൽ ഓർഡർ ഇത് നമ്മൾ ആദ്യം ജനിച്ച സമയം തൊട്ട് ടിൽ ഡേറ്റ് വരെയുള്ള ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ നമ്മൾ കളക്ട് ചെയ്തു ആൻഡ് വി ഹാവ് ടു പൂൾ ഓൾ ദീസ് ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ഇൻ എ സീക്വൻഷ്യൽ ഓർഡർ ടു പ്രിപ്പയർ ദ കോംപ്രിഹെൻസീവ് കേസ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി അപ്പൊ ജനിച്ച സമയത്ത് ജനിക്കുന്ന സമയത്തിന് മുന്നേ ചിലപ്പോൾ കൺസീവ് ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയം തൊട്ടുള്ള ഓരോ കാര്യങ്ങൾ നമ്മൾ ചെയ്തു കൊണ്ടുവന്നിട്ട് വി ഹാവ് ടു പുട്ടി ചിന്ന ഓർഡർ ഓൺലി ഇൻ എ സീക്വൻഷ്യൽ ഓർഡർ ദെൻ ഓൺലി വി വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു കം ടു എ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ഫൈനൽ കൺക്ലൂഷൻ റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ദ കേസ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ദെൻ വി വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു ലൊക്കേറ്റ് ദ കോഴ്സസ് ഫോർ ദ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ പ്രോബ്ലം അല്ല ഇപ്പൊ മാല അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ്മെന്റ് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഉണ്ടെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അതിന് അത് എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഉണ്ടായതെന്ന് വി വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു ഫൈൻഡ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് കോൾ ദ കേസ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി മെത്തേഡ് മനസ്സിലായോ കേസ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി മെത്തേഡ് എന്താന്ന് അപ്പൊ കേസ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് ആയിട്ട് അപ്പൊ യൂഷ്വലി ഇൻ മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ക്ലിനിക്സ് ഓർ ഇൻ ദ ഹോസ്പിറ്റൽ ദേ ഹാവ് എ ഫോർമാറ്റ് ഈ ഫോർമാറ്റ് വെച്ചിട്ടാണ് നമ്മൾ കേസ് എടുക്കുന്നത് അപ്പൊ ഇത് ഇപ്പൊ മൈൽ സ്റ്റോൺസ് ഓരോന്ന് അറ്റൈൻ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടോ ഇങ്ങനെ ഓരോരോ കുറെ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് അതിനകത്തുണ്ട് അതെല്ലാം നമ്മൾ പതുക്കെ ഈ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ മെത്തേഡിൽ കൂടി അത് സംടൈം സ്ട്രക്ചേർഡ് ആയിരിക്കാം സംടൈം സെമി സ്ട്രക്ചേർഡ് ആയിരിക്കാം ഇതെല്ലാം ചോദിച്ച് മനസ്സിലാക്കിയ ശേഷം വി ആർ ഫൈനലി കമ്മിങ് ടു എ കൺക്ലൂഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ദ പേഴ്സൺ ഇസ് ഹാവിങ് സോ ആൻഡ് സോ പ്രോബ്ലം ആൻഡ് വോട്ട് ഇസ് ദ കോസ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ പ്രോബ്ലം ദാറ്റ് ഓൾസോ വി വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു ഏബിൾ ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ത്രൂ ദ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി method and the case study method it is also called the clinical method and other important point is that it is the in depth study of a case and we are considering all the details <coughs> then uh, what are the merits of this uh, case study usually nammala oru child allengil oru endengil oru psychological disorder ulla raalu vannu kaiya we are adopting this method ഓക്കെ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി മെത്തേഡ് ആണ് യൂഷ്വലി ഒരു ക്ലിനിക്കൽ സെറ്റപ്പിൽ നമ്മൾ യൂഷ്വലി അഡോപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഒരു മെത്തേഡ് അപ്പൊ ഈ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡിയിൽ തന്നെ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ സെമി സ്ട്രക്ചേർഡ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ഇതെല്ലാം കൂടി എടുത്തിട്ടാണ് നമ്മൾ ഫൈനലി വി ആർ കമ്മിങ് ടു ദ കൺക്ലൂഷൻ ആൻഡ് വോട്ട് ആർ ദ മെറിറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി മെറിറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി സൊല്യൂഷൻ ഫോർ ദ പ്രോബ്ലം ക്യാൻ ബി ഐഡന്റിഫൈഡ് ഈസിലി നോട്ട് സൊല്യൂഷൻ സൊല്യൂഷൻ അല്ല സൊല്യൂഷന്റെ മുന്നായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ പറയേണ്ടത് ദ മെയിൻ വി വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് എ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ പിക്ചർ ഓഫ് ദ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽ ഫസ
the point replicate, is like uh, replicate the replicate procedure. replicate the procedure once the procedure is successful for a particular case uh. it can be used for the future case studies like procedure mm. way of method or research design anything you can replicate if it is successful in the previous cases uh, but uh, the case may differ from one patient to other no the uh, patient the case may differ as well as the yeah, response some, from some the patient to, like ma'am uh, certain fact it, it it can be applicable to normal cases this case study normal cases in the sense sometimes uh, in yes. the clinical yeah. setup it may not be always applicable because the in the clinical setup uh, the uh, patient with anxiety issues he uh, is uh, suppose uh, the person x is responding in a particular way and the uh, same uh, case same case means a case with anxiety person why he will respond in a different way so it uh, depends on the case so we can't say that it we can replicate that uh, this method in all the cases i don't think so, so. can we refer the proper treatment yes the... that a uh, treatment we can uh, use finally we come to a conclusion that uh, uh, we can um, uh, finalize say, a treatment method and uh, usually it is a uh, method is often qualitative and uh, usually less errors in diagnosis less errors in diagnosis then uh, it is more reliable uh, the anyway first thing is that we will get a detailed picture regarding the individual uh, because uh, this method utilizes uh, other methods like observation interview test um etc for data collection and finally we are coming to a, a conclusion that uh, the person is having so and so problem and finally uh, we can uh, use uh, certain appropriate uh, therapeutic techniques for that case okay uh, then uh, what are the demerits results cannot be generalized is that is time time consuming then uh, we can't come to a uh, particular or generalization we can't come to that thing then another important thing is that uh, proper training it is needed to do a case study that is very important because we have to elicit the information from the client so to elicit the information means uh, uh, certain skills are needed if you want to conduct the interview or uh, if you have to elicit the information from the client this interviewing skills or the case study skills are needed so that is very important so proper training is needed to do a case study that is uh, mm, that is uh, we, most of the clinician or uh, the people lack it and we can consider it as a demerit appa namukku oru training nalla oru training illa adu illa nundengi the sometimes the diagnosis uh, it might be wrong uh, we are coming to a wrong conclusion so that is an important thing anyway when a case study it is um, considered as a um, usually this uh, method it is used in the uh, clinical uh, clinical setup and it is used to indicate an individual who is facing a problem and only with the help of the detailed case study the problem can be identified and solved and when we as you as somebody mentioned uh, when we solve the problem if you want to solve the problem we have to rely on various psychotherapeutic uh, techniques but when we do uh, before um, giving a proper therapeutic technique the initial thing is that to we have to identify the problem in the correct way so that that, that means the diagnosis it should be uh, correct okay clear case study appa case study is a very important thing case study valare important aanu especially this is used in the clinical setup appa case study la one more thing i want to repeat is that the proper training is needed to do a case study appa ningalku when we when you do the, do the internship um, uh, always select a good clinic or a good hospital where, the, where there are loads of cases it is very easy to uh, സാധാരണ ഒരു കേസാണ് സാധാരണ വേറെ വലിയ പ്രോബ്ലം ഒന്നും ഇല്ലാത്തൊരു ഇതാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി നമു
സിമ്പിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു കേസ് ഒക്കെ ആണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി ഈസി ഫോർ ടു ഡു ദ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി ഈസി ഫോർ എസ് ടു ഡു ദ കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി ബട്ട് ഇഫ് ദ കേസ് ഇസ് ലിറ്റിൽ ബിറ്റ് കോംപ്ലിക്കേറ്റഡ് ഓർ ഇഫ് ദ പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് ദാറ്റ് മച്ച് കോപ്പറേറ്റീവ് Uh, then it is very difficult to do the case study so uh, we should have the skill to elicit the information from the case even if it is not cooperative that is very important okay then okay ma'am. okay the next is about the um, experimental method or the scientific method this is very very important so experimental method it is the most scientific and objective method for study uh, behavior Uh, this uh, usually gives uh, more importance to the cause and effect relationship cause and effect relationship and the key factor in this method is controlling the conditions or variables ningale matra edana experimental research methods padichadano have you completed yes ma'am yes, yes. uh. so you know that what is a variable and there are different types of variable when we talk about the variables you know that there are different types of variable the main three types of variable are independent variable dependent variable then intervening or controlled variable idakka ningal padichathanallo so if you know that the independent variable or iv uh, it stands for the cause and the dependent variable uh, it always stands for the effect of that cause then uh, again when we talk about the intervening variable the other factors intervening means other factors that influence the cause and effect relationship are called the intervening variables appa eppolum experimental or the scientific method it is considered as the highly uh, reliable method and it is uh, uh, when we adopt this method it is we can say that it is highly objective systematic the data will be highly reliable and um, the findings of the experimental method uh, are uh, open to critical evaluation and appa idakkana main aitulla objective the points which comes under the experimental or the scientific method and psychology we usually use this experimental or scientific method but uh, as uh, other methods also it is also time consuming it is highly it is costly then it is uh, sometimes it is uh, in this experimental method it is difficult to control the causative factors uh, uh, so these are some of the um, demerits of this experimental method uh, okay appo idakkana main aitulla എന്താണ് പറയുന്നത് ടെക്നിക്സ് വിഷ് വി യൂസ് ടു സ്റ്റഡി പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി ഇനി നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് പോർഷൻസ് ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് എല്ലാം കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ഇപ്പൊ എടുത്തതിൽ എനി ഡൗട്ട് റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ദിസ് so uh, another important thing is that when when you construct a technique mm, or uh, uh, construct a particular questioner or something like that to assess a particular aspect certain things you have to consider you have to keep in your mind that is objectivity of the test that is very important then reliability validity standardization ingenta karyangalokka valare important aanu അത് നിങ്ങൾ പഠിച്ചേക്കുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങളല്ലേ എല്ലാം ഹലോ അത് മറ്റേ റിസർച്ച് മെത്തഡോളജിയിൽ പഠിച്ചിട്ടല്ലേ ഒരു ടെസ്റ്റ് കൺസ്ട്രക്ട് ചെയ്യുമ്പോഴത്തേക്കും ഏതൊക്കെ കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയിട്ട് നമ്മൾ വെക്കേണ്ട സ്റ്റാൻഡേഴ്സേഷൻ റിലയബിലിറ്റി വാലിഡിറ്റി ഓബ്ജക്റ്റിവിറ്റി ഇതെല്ലാം വളരെ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആണ് പിന്നെ ഇതാണ് പിന്നെ എം എം പി ഐ 
16 pf these are some examples for the personality test itum pinna mayor briggs test idakke aanu itum important aayittulla test then when usually when we talk about the personality we use certain projective techniques projective techniques il varnadana ipo parne pole a perception test then rosha inglo test pinna edakke irunu cat that is children a perception test pinna ോ ടെസ്റ്റ് important test uh, the interpretation of that test is very important then uh, draw a person sentence completion ee uh, test galakkeyana etum important aayittulla test gal mm, then then uh, strengths what are the strengths and weaknesses of a case study that is very important then five factor model do you remember five factor model ah uh, ma'am yes ma'am okay yes ma'am uh, then uh, when we talk about the uh, learning theories extinction and spontaneous recovery that one question is there in your, in your assignment pinne uh, ketel's uh, tray approach theory of personality that i already i mentioned uh, then uh, uh, basic uh, concepts of uh, social learning theory uh, um, not all the questions are there with me then the first question in the first section of assignment that is section a uh, 15 ma 14 marks 40 sorry 45 marks first question is discuss the biological and the environmental factors in personality development so uh, when you write the assignment first ipping in a question vannu kenya first you have to uh, give an introduction regarding the personality because it is a 45 mark question and like 45 mark question now but first you have to give an introduction regarding the personality after that give a definition a few famous definitions of personality then uh, um give an introduction regarding factors affecting personality in the factors affect you amnu or paragraph cheradayittu koduka after that uh, main aite when we talk about the factors affecting personality biological factors are the uh, what are the biological factors when we talk about the biological factors say the kana heredity vara physical factors physics or body types you can write then endocrine glands play a very important role just like a uh, hormones hormones play an important role in our uh, personality because uh, uh, we can say that over activity or under activity of the glands can cause um, increase or decrease in of hormone mm? uh, it it can result in some personality disorder Uh, so endocrine glands uh, then nervous system then when we talk about the environmental factors first uh, there are various environmental factors uh, but uh, like a physical environment social environment family environment then cultural environment ingena pala environmental factors und so before right, going to the those points you have to give a small introduction regarding uh, environmental factors that is in a, a four or five sentence after that you go uh, each point go to each point uh, then then horny social foundation of personality almost kore ellam in depth poittillengilum athyavashyam ellam onnu tottu tottu poittund ഇനിയിപ്പൊ നോക്കിട്ട് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഡൗട്ട് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ചോദിക്കാം 
ഷെൽഡോൺസ് സൊമാറ്റോ ടൈപ്പ് പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി ഷെൽഡൻസ് ഷെൽഡൻസ് സൊമാറ്റോ ടൈപ്പ് ഞാൻ എടുത്തതല്ലേ ഷെൽഡന്റെ എക്ടോമോർഫ് എൻഡോമോർഫ് മീസോമോർഫ് നിങ്ങളുടെ സിലബസിൽ ഉണ്ട് ഗിൽഫോർഡിന്റെ അതിപ്പോ മറ്റത് ഞാൻ എടുത്തില്ലേ അതിന്റെ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് കുറച്ച് വ്യത്യാസത്തിലായിരിക്കാം ഗിൽഫോർഡിന്റെ ഐ എം നോട്ട് റിമെമ്പറിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് വോട്ട് ആക്ച്വലി കംസ് അണ്ടർ ഗിൽഫോർഡ് തിയറി ഗിൽഫോർഡ് തിയറി ദിസ് മെറ്റീരിയൽ ഇസ് നോട്ട് ദ വിത്ത് മീ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ മോർഫോളജിക്കൽ എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ ഏകദേശം ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് സംതിങ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് സംതിങ് റിയൽ റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു ദ ഫിസിക്കൽ ആസ്പെക്ട്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ഫിസിക് ഓഫ് ദ പേഴ്സൺ അതപ്പോ എന്താണ് കൊടുത്തേക്കണത് structure of intelligence structure of intelligence theory important the structure of intelligence gilford inde oru box il ulla oru idano cubes aitulla um sir three dimensional model aanu three dimensional model ulla oru cube aanu adu intelligence intelligence inde theory aanu adu serikkum gilford inde theory of intelligence by gilford അതൊന്ന് നോക്കിക്കോ ഒന്ന് എന്താണെന്ന് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞുതരാം അത് ഇന്റലിജൻസിന്റെ തന്നെയാണോ ഒരു മിനിറ്റ് ഒന്ന് നോക്ക് ഓക്കെ പറഞ്ഞോളൂ ഏതാണ് ഗിൽഫോർഡിന്റെ അല്ലേ പറഞ്ഞത് ഗിൽഫോർഡിന്റെ ആക്ച്വലി ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇന്റലിജൻസ് തിയറി അല്ലേ ആ ഒരു ക്യൂബിന്റെ ഇതിട്ടിട്ടുള്ളതാണോ പറയണത് അല്ല മാം സെവൻ ട്രേഡ്സ് വെച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് വോട്ട് അതെ സെവൻ ട്രേഡ്സ് physiological and morphological traits need interest and attitude aptitudes and temperament aptitudes and temperament i am not sure about it vaichu nokkittu manasila kondu nokku maybe that material is not there with me gilford inde uh, there is uh, one uh, theory of uh, theory of intelligence that is by gilford uh, it is called the structure of intelligence intellect that uh, this i don't know we just go through it please share the page number okay you can share it 31 31 but the material is not there with me right now uh ഞാൻ അത് നോക്കിയിട്ട് പിന്നെ വേണമെങ്കിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും അയച്ചു തരും എന്തെങ്കിലും ചെയ്യാം ഇപ്പൊ റൈറ്റ് നൗ ദ മെറ്റീരിയൽ ഇസ് നോട്ട് ദ വിത്ത് ഓക്കെ ഇത്രയും ഇത് ഇത് നോക്കിക്കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് അത് വായിച്ചാൽ മനസ്സിലാകുമായിരിക്കാം നീഡ് ഒക്കെ അല്ലേ പറഞ്ഞത് നീഡ് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് പിന്നെ എന്താണ് പറഞ്ഞത് അതൊക്കെയാണ് ഓക്കെ If, uh, right now you go through it and if any doubt comes you please ask me not now i land or i will give you it in the later later next week or something like that mm, not through class i'll give you some notes or something like that or slides or okay uh pinna next is about the then uh, 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 elucidate the maslow's humanistic approach to personality humanistic approach uh, had i gone through that did i mention yes ma'am yes yes ma'am ma'am one more mention cheyavo humanistic approach endana 
what do you mean by humanistic approach how many uh, it's just like a pyramid structure how many needs are the what what do you remember that uh, actually five types of five biological needs physiological needs then uh, uh, physio so, what is the second love second one safety safety needs safety safety need then love or be known as love or be known affection and that is at the ectum uh, lowest level of need and but once the physiological need is satisfied then only the person moves to the second higher need what is the second higher need safety 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 enik inatha slide move cheyinilla adu karana endha nariyilla appo adu karana inatha kaanikkan vella safety appo aa safety aa need satisfy cheythu kaynale pinna adutha level lekku povullu and the oru level la need satisfy cheythu kaynya mathramana pinnathile pinnathile lekku keri povullu etum highest level of need is the self actualization appo self actualization ane it is always related to abraham maslow abraham maslow de ana ee the hierarchy of needs appo oru need here he gave more importance to the needs of the person appo once oru uh, particular stage la need satisfy cheythu kanya mathrame aduthilekku pole and we can say that only few person reach that the etum top il ulla aa oru level la ethna only few person reach that level that is self actualization need okay adana uh, hierarchy of needs and ibada uh, needs nana importance kodukkunnathu അപ്പൊ ഇത്രയും ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് ഒരു വിധമൊക്കെ ഒന്ന് നോക്കിയിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഒന്ന് വായിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ മനസ്സിലാകും അത് കുറച്ചും കൂടി ഒരു സിമ്പിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു ടെക്സ്റ്റ് വായിച്ചിട്ട് ഇതിനകത്തേക്ക് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സിമ്പിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള എന്തെങ്കിലും സ്റ്റഡി മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് കിട്ടുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അത് നോക്കിയിട്ട് ഈ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ഈ ഇഗ്നോയുടെ സ്റ്റഡി മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് നോക്കുമ്പോൾ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി മോ ക്ലിയർ ടു യു ഓക്കെ സോ ഷാൽ വി വൈൻഡ് അപ്പ് അസൈൻമെന്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി ലജിബിൾ വെറുതെ കോപ്പി ഇടിച്ച് കോപ്പി പേസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്ത് വെക്കരുത് ആൻഡ് പ്രിപ്പയർ ദ നോട്ട്സ് in detailed way so that you can use it for the uh, ex during the exam time also you can use that uh, same thing okay ma'am we submitted our assignments ma'am already submitted okay all of you yes ma'am yes ma'am ah okay then most okay. of them ah then it's good okay so thank you all of you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am ma thank you ma'am ma ma okay thank you ma'am thank, thank you ma'am thank you ma'am all all dear friends so all of you yes. uh, make use of the time study well yes thank you ma'am okay bye hello yes ma'am is there any chance to postpone the exam date uh it regarding the exam i don't have any idea but you have to ask to prema ma'am so right now uh, it is Thank scheduled you. on which date no they didn't schedule any dates they have told this is maybe in second week of february second week of february because we don't we can't predict the condition right now no every week it is changing even the cbsc exam and the university exam all are postponing they will uh, say one date and after that the other notification will come so we can't predict anything we don't know what will happen in the next month so the situation is even i am also hoping for the best yeah. date <laughs> the situation is like that no now the <laughs> the corona it got mutated strained <laughs> <laughs> So we don't know what will happen next week. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot. So all of you, bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am.